Geo's have online training. I'm Kerry Carter, and I have with me a room full of people here from Valor, and Stephanie on the line as well. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to start with Valor, and Michael Kutcher is going to um, present us today with the temperature monitoring. And then we'll have Stephanie go over my geotab today and what we have in store for you in the future. Michael, I pass it to you. Good afternoon. Some of you have already talked to me on different occasions, but um, it's Mike Kutcher from Valor. I'm here to talk a bit about the temperature monitoring and the temp track system that we've launched with Geotab. At this point in time, we're supporting in phase one J1939 equipped straight trucks. Uh, we will be going into a phase two, expanding that into some OBD2 type vehicles. Um, basically, we've partnered with Geotab to bring this to market. A uh, quick overview is the temperature monitoring is going to be supplied with two zones. You can add a third sensor if required. We've completed and we have ready the reporting and exceptions, and they're available in the My Geotab Pro plan. When you get a customer and you're looking to go forth with the system, it's very simple. Basically, you can contact myself at this point in time, send me an email of what you're looking for. You buy your kits directly from Valor. We've got reseller pricing set up uh, direct to you uh, and a MSRP that we have suggested going out to the field. Um, you can buy the device harnesses through my admin that are customized to whichever type of vehicle application you're going to go with. Uh, your Go 6, uh, your support is in the production firmware. Uh, there's basically two harnesses that you may require, one of either, depending on the application. When you get your kit, the system is very simple. In the cab of the truck, you're going to have a CAN receiver box, which is highlighted as A on your screen. You're going to have some Velcro. You're going to have two sensors. They're going to be marked zone one and nothing. You're going to have an antenna, and you're going to have a harness. That's what Valor supplies. And basically, you're going to attach your sensors somewhere in the vehicle itself where you want to measure the temperature of the unit. They're pre-programmed into the CAN box. You're going to plug your CAN box into your harnessing and um, move forward from there. This is a very quick slide of your integration. Basically, F and G are the two harnesses that you're going to have to choose between. You, um, you're going to have the Valor harness, the B, and the Valor CAN box. The harness itself is being labeled, so it only can go into the Valor box in one way. There's um, very simple labels on the harness itself. From an in-cab perspective, once you've removed the product, your receiver box needs to be plugged into the harness near the Go 6 unit. It's a plug-and-play system. There's no need to get additional power wires. There's no need for any wires to go on the CAN box whatsoever. Everything is included. It's a simple system. You'll notice that there's a push to brake switch on the go on our harness that goes to the go device end. When you're doing it, be sure your colors match up. You should have no issues whatsoever. Route your antenna from inside the cab to outside, somewhere behind the cab itself, somewhere where it's easy to get at, yet not going to get stepped on or destroyed. Um, mount your temperature sensors inside. Prior to mounting your sensors, turn them on. There's a small switch on the back. They're now powered. They're now active. They will last between five and seven years. <clears throat> As I said earlier, each of these sensors has a unique code on them. They give you zone one, zone two. You can add a zone three. In sensors directly inside the cab itself, um, Velcro is supplied. If you need, you can screw them on. There is provision for using self-tapping screws. The screws are not supplied. Each of the sensors are transmitted independently, so you can take up to three zones and it records them independently. It records on vehicle on, so when ignition goes on, you're going to get an initial reading of the unit, and when the vehicle is turned off, it's going to give you a closing temperature. In between there, we're going to report every one degree of Celsius change and we're going to record it. You're going to get exceptions for over and under. 
a screenshot is provided here. The exceptions and the ability to set your upper and lower threshold is configurable in the my in the GeoTap site. The charts and the graphs are included in the GeoTab. They're available. They're simple. They're easy. Basically, the system itself, in, in a nutshell, is a plug-and-play unit. Plug it into the GeoTab harness. Drop your antenna behind the cab. Install your two sensors inside the refrigerated unit itself, and watch it work. It's going to record continuously. It's going to give you reports if you're over or under. And your data is granular in nature, and it's available for discovery when needed. Simple and easy. Excellent. Michael, thank you so much. Um, we do have one basic question here that's come up, and that is uh, pricing in Canadian or U.S. dollars or U.K.? <laughs> pricing is supplied in U.S. dollars at this point. That's good. Okay. All right. Um, another question that I have here, uh, reporting. Do we have any reports that we can the, get online? The reports are available right now through my GeoTab. They are available. Um, if you've got it set up in the Pro Plan, you can click on it and your reports are there. You can see it basically on the screen itself in the, your home page, or you can export it into an Excel format and view it there. Okay. Excellent. All right. Do we have any other questions out there? Uh, yeah. One of the questions was, what is the delivery time from uh, order for Valor? Any orders we receive, we ship within 48 hours. Product is in stock, and it's available for shipment immediately. Excellent. Warranty. Okay. Warranty is 12 months, parts and labor. Um, simple and easy. Any warranty issues, contact Valor directly, and we will process it immediately. Okay, and troubleshooting issues the same? Troubleshooting issues the same, contact Valor, and we will troubleshoot the device itself. Um, on the GeoTap side, it's um, very robust and simple. Uh, there's a couple more questions. What are the use cases in Texas instances that would use these? I can address that. And there's another one here. Can you go back and show the GeoTab screen with the Valor data? So let's talk to that a bit. It's John Day here from GeoTab. I'm jumping. I wasn't introduced. That's okay. The um, if you go back to the chart or the graph, the report piece. On the front page. Yeah, on the front page. Okay. Just actually stop there for a second. I just want to clarify too. F is just as you, you all know that the uh, um, like the CD9 T uh, T harness. Um, the G is the HRNE one, so you will need both of those uh, with the 1939. It, it, it's for it's reefer monitoring. So some of you are probably uh, marketing to those types of fleets, um, and um, some of you may not. But essentially, if you're if you're hauling uh, frozen goods or refrigerated goods, they need to monitor the uh, the temperature of those units. The nice thing about the solution is that you're getting getting all the data. What we're doing though is, is every one degree change is where it's it's a, it's a record essentially. So it's all in the engine data data. You can create the reports and you can customize them how you want. You can you can create alerts on the over temp and under temp thresholds. But you can because we're sending every degree change, you can actually show the the, the on the on the on the graph the the rise in temperatures and everything else. And you can see not only can you see that there is an over temp threshold, but you can also see that oh my God, it went 10 degrees over. It kept on rising even once it hit. So um, you you are you will get spikes as the doors open in the in the summertime, obviously, and you will get uh, and customers are aware of that. Pharmaceuticals, that's is another use case. Pharmaceuticals, is yeah, pharmaceuticals, another industry. Livestock, oh, livestock. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but pharmaceuticals and livestock are also uh, two areas that that can be looked at. Definitely. Yeah, but it's, primarily it's 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 food. It's, yeah. uh, it's John, there is a question here that says, does this work with Go4, Go6, Go7? What, what can it work with? It's Go6, Go7. It's not supported on Go4. And the other question is, does the temperature display on the actual, does the actual temperature display on the map? 
Uh, no, not at this point. What are the variances hot to cold it works in? Um, is there any like minus 45 Celsius to plus 176 Celsius? Okay, do we have any other questions coming in? Can you integrate a door sensor with your? Uh, that's the question. Can you also get a door sensor for the system? Typically, what we do with the door sensors, obviously, is going through the AUX. Is does yeah. your system have a digital input that you can? Is that a feature? That will be a feature in the future. Okay. It's on the roadmap. It is on the roadmap, um, but it's not here today. <laughs> All right. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much, Michael. If you have any other questions, please put them in, and we will uh, respond to them as as we can, um, either online or offline. We can either re also respond in the box. So, with that, um, if you don't have anything else, just uh, any other marketing material. Um, yeah, we've got this presentation, and we had we had the product announcement uh, on that was sent out on Monday. Um, just probably for sure. And then you got from Valor. There, there's a product. There's a product. Yes, so definitely reach out to Valor directly yes. and get any other um, marketing information that you want. And with that, as I said, we will have this online available to you as well as a copy of this presentation as well. So you can certainly use that as needed yeah. for reference or, or bring it up to somebody else, whichever you want. Yeah. Okay, so with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for everyone coming in.